Hi, I'm Jamie with Santa Cruz Core Fitness, and I'm so excited about 2024. With New Year's comes resolutions. Not everyone's a fan, but I am. I'm a veteran of New Year's resolutions. I've been doing it for over 20 years, and I wanna share with you what I've learned along the way. Every year, I set goals for myself, and I've made a board for the last 15 or more years, and the board's a big poster board, and it has the year in the middle, and then it has each part of my life. So financial, relationships, family, work, my body, myself, my spiritual side, and I put all the little titles all around. I have my list, I put it on my wall, I can look at it every day, and then upstairs in my bedroom I have a calendar, and the goals for that month are micro goals for my macro goals that are on my goal board in my office. What gives me fulfillment is checking things off of a list, and when I looked at my 2023 goals as a year in review, some of them I was really able to check off, and others I was like, I don't know how to measure that. Some of them said, like, feel less stressed. So when doing 2024 goals, I made sure that they were time bound, right? They had to happen by the end of the year. They were more specific instead of just like this feeling. And so by modifying my macro goals, I'm then able to create more specific micro goals to get me there. So then I have this sense of accomplishment when I've achieved them. So in self-evaluating at the end of the year, it's like, was I successful? Was I not successful? But more importantly, why was I not? And am I okay with that? And if I'm you know, reflecting and I'm not okay with it, I gotta make a change. Some people are like me and they really want to accomplish a lot in a lot of different areas of their lives and some people when doing goal setting they pick one thing and they really focus on that one thing and accomplish that one thing. Either way is great, you got to find what resonates best with you but the theme throughout is accountability and asking for help. When you see that you can't do it on your own you got to ask for help. I don't just create my own schedule because I found that I have really bad boundaries around that. So what I've done this year is I've been like okay partner. I need you to help me create my schedule so that I'm actually being held accountable to somebody else. The people who have accountability with a partner, with somebody else, with an external source, have the most success in achieving their goals. So whether you have one New Year's resolution, like making your bed every day, or a plethora of New Year's resolutions like myself, we're always here for you if you need some accountability, and best of luck in 2024.